wildlife expert, Jared Miller. Daytime diva, Susan Pucci. And musical guest, Orgy. With the Fat White Earth 7. Now, here's your host, Hosan O'Brien. tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Settle down, babies. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, thank you. Charo is with us tonight. <laughs> big, big show tonight, everybody. Big, big show. So much cool stuff to talk about. First of all, let's be honest, our country's still a mess. Is it not? Let's applaud the fact that our country's a mess. Let's get behind it. Let's not... Let's not be sad about it. Let's start to enjoy it a little bit. The country is still a mess, and uh, I have the latest on this whole election. That's right. I have the latest. Uh, this is partly what's going on. Some Republican congressmen now are actually threatening to boycott the inauguration and the parade to the White House if Al Gore becomes president. They're going to boycott it. And then, and it's amazing. Yeah, not only that, George W. Bush is threatening to boycott the Macy's Thanksgiving parade if they don't have a Scooby-Doo balloon. <laughs> He's that, she's mad. He's mad and wants to see it. That or his uh, younger uh, brother, Scrappy-Doo. <laughs> My favorite. President Clinton uh, is in the news. President Clinton says that this Thanksgiving, we should share the spirit of fellowship and reinforce the ties of our communities. Isn't that nice? Yeah, meanwhile, uh, George W. Bush says that this Thanksgiving, Democrats should screw off and let him be president. That's his lesson. He wants to... So, so built up my chest. All right. Uh, supermodel Naomi Campbell is in the news. Supermodel Naomi Campbell has taken up boxing. She's taken up boxing as part of her struggle to control her notorious temper. That's what she said in an interview. Yeah, Campbell says she got the idea of using boxing to control her temper because it's worked so well for Mike Tyson. <laughs> Model citizen. This is weird. On Monday, uh, magician David Blaine, he's this young magician, does all these cool stunts. On Monday, magician David Blaine is going to crawl into a block of ice and stay there for two days. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Blaine, uh, Blaine has been preparing for the stunt by having an affair with Martha Stewart. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> she fears me now. All right, let's talk about tonight's show. We got a big, big show for you tonight. We have with us, un listen to this, this is good. A lot of shows have wildlife experts that come out and they bring animals and it's really cute and fun. We have a wildlife expert who's in way over his head. This guy, he's 11 years old, I think. He's kicked out of NSYNC for inexperience and for actually carrying a tune. Uh, he was asked to... He's, no, he's really, he's really, he comes out here, he has no control over the animals. They often get loose and they kill people. We'll be sued. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared Miller is on the show. This bit, it's... We also have daytime diva Susan Lucci. La Lucci is here. And her handler can't control her either. It's insane. And musical guest Orgy.
For those of you who read the TV listings and thought they were gonna, there was going to be an orgy, I apologize. <laughs> And right over here, ladies and gentlemen, Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 7. Max! <laughs> How are you? That was you ready to go? Big show tonight. My thanks to the Max Weinberg 7. Gentlemen, uh, this is big. The outcome of this presidential election is still up in the air, and the legal posturing from both sides is getting way out of control. Now, yesterday, you probably all saw this, yesterday was perhaps the most exciting day yet, as lawyers for both Gore and Bush testified in front of the Florida Supreme Court. Well, I had our staff scour through the footage all day searching for action-packed highlights and memorable sound bites of our democracy in action and they found some amazing stuff we've put it all together it's gonna blow your mind check it out god save these united states the great state of florida and this honorable court Well, um, what, they don't have to, I think the absentee ballots from overseas don't have to be... Uh, chads that are not uh, detached at all, but I guess are these dimpled chads are being counted. For the remainder of the argument that you remain in the building and really in the courtroom except to, to use the restroom facilities. <laughs> Man, that just like clears the sinuses when you see it, doesn't it? That just, that just clears you out right away. That was pretty amazing. Uh, I hope this thing ends soon, though. If I hear Dimple Chad one more time, I'm getting a rifle and getting on top of a roof and hurting no one, because that would be against the law. Um, 